Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Secret Codes of Cipher, Operation Wildlife. I am so sorry it's been so long. <laughs> I have not played this game in a minute, so we'll see how good we do. But we are going to log back in as Codename Princess, as usual, and see what we can get done. Um, we are working... Oh, God, my skeletal structure. No. Um... <laughs> We're working with, I think her name is Selena Ancien, the medieval historian. We're trying to find some treasure. So let's see if we can get that done, I suppose. Come on, supervisor, let me in. All right, mission assignment, client ciphergram. I think I still remember what I'm doing. Oh, it's Serena, not Selena. Okay. All right, so you need to look out for that dude. Let's go. All right. Firefly, cockroach, moth. You need to find insects, constellations, dogs, flowers, islands, birds, gems, insects. <clears throat> All right. There's the first little bit of the cyphergram. Let's go here to Firefly Common. See if we can figure out what animal this is. For your information, these mammals often fight among themselves by slashing at each other's shoulders, which are protected by thickened skin and matted hair. Not sure of that. Bears? Is it a bear? A clue to its identity. The sow has 12 teats, more than most mammals. I don't think it is a bear, then. Because bears, I think, at most only have two cubs at a time. There's no reason they would need 12 teats. 12. I don't know. This animal measures 35 to 70 inches long, has a 12 to 16 foot tail, and weighs 110 to 440 pounds. You can find this mammal in the mountain habitat at the wildlife park. I have no idea. Um, whoopsie. Oh, poop. Um, so we're in the mountain. <laughs> uh, I don't know what animal this could be. Is it the grizzly bear? Because it seems pretty big. I guess I'm going to try the grizzly bear. Oh, Lord. I don't just don't know why they would have 12 teats. Nope. Fuck. Give me a better clue, please. Well, I'm not going to get the bonus on this one. Whatever. A clue to its identity. This mammal has a large head, short neck, and powerful but agile body with a coarse brownish-gray bristly coat. It has small eyes, a prominent snout with a disc-like nose, and tusks. That's what it is. I was thinking, I'm like, was this the wild boar? I don't think it could be the boar. But yeah. It is. They even said a sow. But like, sow is common for... Multiple female animals. All right, cool. We got the boar. Geranium Common, Daisy Highway, Shooting Star Plaza. Those are flowers, and I don't remember. Here we go. Could not remember where they were, but it's fine. We found our way. Another bit. I wonder if we're going to get to five pieces of the cyphergram instead of four. If we are, it's probably going to happen soon. A clue to its identity. It has keen hearing and can hear a mouse squeak or rustling leaves up to 50 feet away. So probably some kind of predator if they're listening for mice. Did you know that its long, thin body means a high level of body heat loss? To compensate, it has a fast metabolic rate and so requires a high food intake. It eats one-third to one-half of its weight in food every day. It is always hungry. I wonder if it's the pine martin. I feel like that was an animal we saw. It kind of sounds like a weasel or a stoat or a pine martin. 
This animal measures 5 to 16 inches long. It has a tail up to 7 inches long and weighs between 2 and 11 ounces. You can find this mammal in the forest habitat at the wildlife park. Okay, something weaselly. Black bear, chimpanzee, deer, fox, gibbon, gorilla, jaguar, uh, koala, lemur, moose, opossum, orangutan, panda, peccary, raccoon, sloth, squirrel, sugar glider, tapir, tiger. I think it's the weasel. Pretty sure it's the weasel. Hello, weasel. Hooray! Got that one right. Beagle, poodle, Great Dane. Dogs. Up here in the financial district. People that work in the financial district are probably dogs. Let's be real. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so there's section three. Did you know that when the snow falls, these mammals descend from their mountain home to the lower slopes? Okay, so they live in the mountains. They like snow. For your information, these mammals are relatives of the wild goat. They can move easily and quickly on rocky, uneven ground. Their hooves spread out to help keep their footing. The rough bottoms and hard outer edges help keep them from slipping. Mountain goats, baby? I'm not sure. This animal bears one or two young after a five or six month gestation period. The female remains alone with her offspring for about one week, then they join other females and their young. The female pays little attention to her growing offspring except to nurse it. You can find this mammal in the mountain habitat at the wildlife park. Okay. Mountain. I wonder if it's the bighorn sheep. Oh, it's the bighorn sheep or the ibex. Oh, no. Um, it's one of those two. I'm going to guess the Ibex because I think the bighorn sheep is more closely related to sheep, but like sheep and goats are in the same like family. They're very closely related. Please be the Ibex. Fuck. It's the bighorn sheep. Ugh. I'm not doing well today. You guys boxer financial district. For your information, the males and most females have large curving horns. You should have given me this one earlier. The horns will grow throughout the animal's life. Deep groves form where the growth stops each fall. Counting these groves gives a measure of the animal's age. So it's the bighorn sheep. I knew that. I actually live in a place that has a good population of bighorn sheep. I've never seen one, though. I've seen mountain goats when I climbed a 14er. They were up there. But I've never seen a bighorn sheep, like, in the wild. Oh, I was like, what's happening? Why did I get sent back here? Because <laughs> it was dogs again. Um, so let's go back to the financial district. This is just the next clue. But I was like, what happened? I got it wrong. I don't think I'm fully awake yet, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that the last of it? Cool. <laughs> let's let's start the hard part when I've already failed the easy mm -hmm. part multiple times. Okay, so R Oh. Oh, I forgot how to do this. Okay. And I remembered. Okay. Huh. This is probably R. Castle is not going anywhere. I don't know why sometimes I can just do this without really even trying um legends are something stories so castle's not going anywhere something old legends are just stories i was like best stories that doesn't make much sense um 
Castle is not going anywhere. Old. So D is in the right place. I is in the right place. F is not. Okay. Besides. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Castle is not going anywhere. Besides, old legends are just stories. All right. So that's what he said to us. So what is Serena going to say back? Treasure does exist. Plans show secret passageway to treasure room. Oh, I'm sure it does. They clearly marked secret treasure room on the on the schematics. I'm sure, Serena. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Boop. All right, let's see what we are doing now. I don't get a gold star because I failed. <laughs> oh, gods. Oh, we're at Kappa now. Okay. Alright, let's do another one. We have enough time. Even though I failed twice. So let's do another mission for Serena. Because we need to get all this stuff done. We're up to 12 of 12. I forget how many we had for the coach. Is this guy again? Girl. Get a life. Alright, Alcatraz... Oh, God, I think that's Hawaiian Kauai. Uh, I do not know Polynesian languages at all. Kodiak. Okay, these are islands. Pretty certain. Let's find out. This could be the first time I've screwed this up. Oh, no, we did it right. Thank the gods. All right, let's go to here. For your information, it is the largest African carnivore. I'm going to guess the lion. Because I know they're pretty beefy compared to cheetahs. For your information, the males of this species have shaggy manes of long, thick hair. You can find this mammal at the grassland habitat in the wildlife park. Let's just go for it. Grassland, it's lions. Hooray! I didn't fail that time. Alright, where are we going next? Stink bug, termite, mosquito. That is the insect district, which is where? Right here. Also, I think I saw a district that was named after snakes. I don't know if we've had that before. It's kind of cool if they are adding in um, new things to figure out. A clue to its identity. This member of the camel family looks like a small camel without humps. You can find this mammal in the mountain habitat at the wildlife park. It's probably a llama or an alpaca. Probably a llama, though. They are camelids. A clue to its identity. The male is used as a pack animal and can carry 50 to 75 pounds on its back. These sturdy beasts can travel up to 20 miles a day. The animal may lie down and refuse to move as if its pack is too heavy. Smart little baby. Did you know that the culture of the Incas revolved around this mammal as it provided transportation of people and goods? It, it's probably the alpaca then. Mountain. Never mind, the alpaca is not on here. So it's going to be the llama. Hello, llama. I guess I got my indigenous civilizations mixed up a little bit. All right, llamas. Who are the indigenous people that... um? helped create the alpaca then if it wasn't the Incas I'm not sure if anyone knows let me know um, sunflower goldenrod monkey flower those are flowers turns out yeah snakes I, I think that's new um, flowers let's get another piece of the cyphergram alrighty I would like to live on Sunflower Road. There's probably sunflowers there. <laughs> Did you know that this mammal does not migrate, unlike most other members of the deer family? Okay, so deer family doesn't migrate. 
Reindeer? No, I think they migrate. I'm pretty sure you can see herds of them going crazy. For your information, this animal feeds in the early morning and evening. It swallows partially chewed food. When resting, the animal brings up wads of food to chew thoroughly and then swallow. Okay, so it's a deer and it has a cud. That's not super descriptive. <laughs> Did you know that it is the most common large mammal in the country? It's the U.S. population being around 12 million. You can find this mammal in the forest habitat. I think we've had this one before. I think it's just the deer. It might be the moose. I don't think so, though. Moose aren't as common as deer. I think it's just the deer. Oh, they call it a white-tailed deer here. It's probably the white-tailed deer. If I had to guess. Hooray! Okay. Yeah, I didn't think that they that moose were more common than white-tailed deer. Pueblo, Sioux, Navajo. That's going to be this one at the marina. That was a new sound. I wonder what was going on. That was a new noise. Oh boy, okay. Sorry, I have to think about that every freaking time. Okay, entrance. Okay. That's pretty much it. Um there it could be there or where i think this is i because down here it could be in okay this is probably two hmm so this a is right so it's probably share In share. Huh. We'll explore in share time. That sounds weird, but. This makes sense. Spare time. Perfect. Okay, good. Fixed it. We'll explore in spare time. Um, to passage way. Where would I find entrance to passage way? We'll explore in spare time. No, girl, this treasure's mine. This curator's trying to steal my treasure. He's just like, oh, by the way, where's the entrance to the... To the secret treasure chamber? Girl, no, mine. Back off. Let's see what Serena says. Location of entrance not known. Suggest ground floor most likely. Okay. <laughs> well, at least the entrance isn't just like, hey, come inside me. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoops. That's inappropriate. All right. I think we have time for one more. We need to kind of hurry these along so we can get through all of these cases. Yay, I think I get a gold star on this one. I don't think I screwed up. Yay, I got a gold star. Perfect. There's a bunch of cases in this game. I am still having fun, though. Okay, let's do another mission with Serena. I think we're kind of far on hers. Is this like the fourth video we've done with her? I'm not entirely sure, but we must be getting near the end. I still think that her colleague stole the original set of plans and is out there digging for treasure. Emerald, amethyst, aquamarine. These are gems. Yeah, the sound is normal this time. I don't know why that last one, it got pitched up. Maybe it was just something with the emulator. I'm not sure. Did you know that it may camp near its kill for several days until it has eaten all the meat and most of the bones? That sounds like a leopard. 
Because I remember leopards taking corpses up into trees to snack on them. For your information, hunted by people and pushed out of its habitat by civilization, fewer than 5,000 of these animals survive in the wild today. Just 65 years ago, tens of thousands roamed wild in Asia. Maybe it's tigers. I don't know. Please tell me something about what it looks like. This mammal is only hunted by man. Generally, it avoids people. You can find this mammal in the forest habitat at the wildlife park. It might be tigers. Forest. Well, jaguars are there, but not leopards. So I think it's the tiger. Yeah. Because jaguars are from South America. Okay, good. <laughs> Gods above. All right. Redwood, Mesa Verde, Yosemite. These are national parks. I'm not reading. It's this one. I was moving over those and I didn't read the second part. And I'm like, you know, that's kind of important. All righty. Here's another piece of the cyphergram. What mammal is this? This animal measures 18 to 26 inches long, has a 9 to 12 inch tail, and weighs from 7 to 26 pounds. So it's moderately small, has kind of a long tail. For your information, they have a keen sense of touch and very nimble front paws. Hmm. Did you know that they are nocturnal? During the day, they will sleep anywhere that seems safe, a hollow tree or building attic. You can find this mammal in the forest habitat at the wildlife, wildlife park. Goodness. Forest. I think it's the raccoon because they do have very nibble front paws. They're almost hands. They get into trouble with those little hands. I think it's the raccoon. Hooray! I guessed right. All right. Where are we headed next? Zion, Haleakala, Mesa Verde. So it is National Parks again, I'm fairly certain. I live... Yeah, I live fairly close to Mesa Verde National Park. Um, it's just over the mountains. Well, not just over the mountains. There is a little bit of driving too, but I've always wanted to go. For your information, it is an expert tree climber, swimmer, and powerful fighter. It is most active after dark. You can find this mammal in the mountain habitat at the wildlife park. Okay, tree climber, swimmer, fighter, dark. It's probably the bear, if I had to guess. I might have to. For your information, this mammal is a member of the cat family and is named for its stubby tail. Uh-oh. It's the bobcat or the lynx. For information, this animal has soft tan fur, which is spotted or occasionally striped with black. Its coat provides an excellent, excellent natural camouflage. Oh no, which one lives in the mountain forest? They're both here. Oh no. So, which one is spotted? Is the question. So, it looks like the bobcat is spotted. The lynx is not. Okay, so it's the bobcat. Oh, thank the gods. Once again, is the bobcat a lynx? <laughs> the answer is almost. <laughs> Woo! Good, 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 good. We got it. Macan, cuckoo, cockatiel. These are birds. Still haven't found that clip I want to use of Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> it would come in handy here. All right, that's the last piece. The entire coded cyphergram is now locked into your cipher microscan watch. You may now decode and deliver the cyphergram. We'll, we'll see about that. Okay. R. S. T. L. N. E. Okay. So this is probably... <laughs> it's glands again, but it's probably plans. If I had to guess. Um, set to... Lent? No. And is in the left set of plans. Who left set of plans? No. Hmm.
This is Castle. This is probably we. Huh. We got. Yeah, the NG is probably right. Is this breaking? Breaking into castle. We got... Oh, he got away. But... Left set of plans. Surprised... Surprised man. There we go. Surprised man breaking into castle. He got away but left set of plans. I bet it's her fucking colleague. Who was on vacation. Let's see what Serena says. Must be after treasure. You must find it before he does. Be careful. Girl, you're not doing anything. That curator needs to keep the treasure, not you. Okay. <laughs> I... In five minutes, I went from, it's my treasure, keep your hands off of it, to like, no, it's his. You're not doing shit. Whatever, I'm fickle. All right, do I get a gold star? Oh, no, I think I guessed wrong on one. Oopsie. Yeah. Oh, no, I got all correct mammals. Yay, I did get a gold star. Hooray. All righty. Well, I think that is, ooh, we're lambda. Nice. Oh, we're moving up in these security rankings, actually. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And tune in next time where we take on more of Serena's mission and probably finish it up. I think we're getting close to the end. Alrighty, I'll see you then. Bye!